Welcome to this Google Apps screencast where I'll show you how to set a Google file to anyone with the link. So here I am as a teacher. This is a file that I want to get out maybe to my students or post on my website. To do that, I go up to the share button and I go to change here under who can access or who has access. And all files that you make in Google Docs are typically inherently private. So typically you see private checked off. You can check this to anyone with the link. Once you choose anyone with the link, you can choose the type of access those people get. I'm, look, I'm using a Google document so I can give view rights, just comment rights, or full edit rights. I'm going to choose can view. I'm going to hit save. When I come back to the sharing settings box here, this is already highlighted for me. I can copy this using my shortcut keys on the keyboard. I'm going to do a Command C because I'm using a Mac. You could also do Command uh, Control C if you're using a Windows machine. And I'm going to come down here and click Done. So I've copied that link. I now go over to my teacher web page that I'm working on, and this could be any website that you publish stuff to. It could be a uh, it could be a wiki, it could be a blog, it could be anything. I just happen to do a Google site. So I'm editing my site. I might write sample script for podcast. And I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. And with that text highlighted, most places that you put things on the web typically have a link button, something that looks like this up here, the little link. So if I click on link, this takes me into where I can decide if I want to link to another page on this particular site. I don't want that. I want to go to web address. So here is where I put the link. So I'm going to paste using Command V or Control V if you're using Windows. So the text is sample script for podcast. The link is going to be this. I usually, when you doing Google Sites, I usually check this box here. This is open it in a new window. That way students keep my page up while the, uh, the link they're clicking opens in a separate window. That way they don't lose their way away from my page. I click OK. There it is. I hit Save to save my page. So if my students are used to going to my website, they can click on this link, and that will open that file for them with View Only Rights. When it opens with View Only Rights, they cannot change any of the content. Uh, they can, however, if they're signed into their Google account, they could click the little folder button up here and save this file if they wanted to. So that's just a way to share one file. I could also email my students if I had a contact group set up. I could send them that link through an email as well if we were using email as a regular tool in our classroom. So that's how you share one file with a link. Thanks for watching.